All right, this video is for those of you who have looked at the Hydra HHO generators that I have for sale on uh, Microsoft Marketplace. And I decided I would do a little bit more because it really, pictures really didn't show. Well, what I have is three 21 plate generators. This is one of them that I decided to hook up and show you how it works. And I have them hooked up to my car battery right over here. And um, it is uh, going into the positive and the negative leads right there. I do have an app meter here that's showing it pulling about oh, six amps or so right now. And this is an on and off switch too that I have. So the electricity comes in here, the positive and the negative, and it activates the plates. And I have three negative and two positive, and the rest are neutral. And they break down the water, uh, water molecules into hydrogen and oxygen gas, uh, two hydrogen to one oxygen, H2O. And this shows the generation, the power. And so you get quite a bit. And normally I have that going out of this line into a water bubbler here, but I decided I'm going to try to inflate a plastic bag. So I have the the line actually going into this bag. And anyway, that shows the generation and they're kind of pumping through and it shows the level of, of uh, electrolytes that I have. And I have water that has about a teaspoon of potassium hydroxide mixed into it. All right. Normally there's a little bit more water in here and this line would actually go to a bubbler and then the bubbler will act, would go into the, uh, your uh, intake system on your car or whatever you're doing with this. Anyway, again, I have three of these of the 21 plate generators. Here's one. This one has three negative and two positive, just like the other one. And there's 21 plates in there. And you can see that they're about eight inches by six inches, something like that. It's got the connector at the top and the connector at the bottom. And the same with this one. I do have an 11 plate connect, uh, generator that really works well. And this one I had on my, my F-150 truck and it generated a lot of gas and uh, I had it hooked to my alternator and my gas mileage improved significantly on my, on my truck. And uh, Hi, this is day two of my HHO experiment. This is the dry cell and it's hooked up to a 12 volt battery now. It's pulling about 15 amps and I have line out going into my tank and then a line back in going back into the tank. So this is a continual system that will keep fresh content in the dry cell right here. All right. Out of the tank, I have one line out. Normally this would go to a bubbler, which is either this piece or for me it's going to be that piece right there. And that bubbler will separate any of the liquid uh, from the gas. All right? And currently I have a line out and it's going right into this tank. And you see the bubbles there. That's quite a, quite a bit of bubbles. That's over a liter a minute now. And this is very flammable gas. So I'm going to show you just how flammable by putting a Right. See, that's pretty flammable stuff, so you got to be very careful. All right. Hi. Uh, second part of this video. Uh, I finally got around to installing the HHO system on my Ford F-150 2003 truck. That uh, the best I've ever got is 14 miles to a gallon, and that's highway at about 70 miles an hour. Uh, and I ordered this kit, had the kit, and 
finally installed it tonight, and my I'll show you my installation. And the engine's running right now with a kit going. Here I have my reservoir, and and then below that I have my the actual uh, uh, generator, and that's a fuel cell. It's a 21 plate fuel cell, stainless steel fuel cell, and it has uh, two lines going from the reservoir into the uh, generator. One side coming out, you can see the bubbles there. The bubbles coming out back into the reservoir. From the reservoir, they go out through this line right here, up around, and into a bubbler. If you see the bubbler, that's generating hydrogen and oxygen gas. And from there, it goes into my intake manifold. And you see, I got a problem with my intake manifold is that this bends 90, and as this plastic line gets warm from the engine, it uh, is going to bend and decrease, and that's going to restrict my air intake. So I'm going to have to fix that. But uh, in my electrical system, I have a relay off of my uh, off of my uh, uh, fuel pump, electric fuel pump, and it goes around and connects to this relay right here, which uh, is it, when that relay kicks on, it connects the positive wire down to the uh, fuel cell. And I have a 30 amp fuse on this. And uh, 30 amp fuse is right here. And this runs, it's running probably, it feels like about maybe 90, 98 degrees or 100 degrees. Uh, so that's not too bad. Uh, and uh, that's my installation. And I wanted to a Valero gas station and I'm using the low speed on the fill. And when it clicked off, I stopped. And then I uh, drove it on the highway. I drove 41.6 miles and drove to the same gas station and used the same pump and the same speed. I filled it up again. And driving 41.6 miles, I used 1.991 gallons. So that's less than two gallons to go 41 miles. That came to uh, 20.89 miles to gallon. Believe me, I've never done that on this Ford truck. I plan to uh, run it uh, for another week. And... Uh, but uh, I had to do a lot of playing with the oxygen sensor. And I have a 2019 Dodge Caravan and then another 2017 car. And it was just too difficult to, to mess with the O2 sensors. So I kind of gave that up. And with the gas prices coming down, that, that was why. But anyway, as you see, this thing is still pumping out a lot of gas. And you put three of these up there, three 21 cell uh, plate generators, and so you're going to get three times this amount and probably be pulling maybe 15 amps of power. So anyway, that's what we have. And uh, if you're interested, you can give me a call. I can tell you, you can buy the system. And it's pretty cheap for $200. You're getting a lot of stuff. Um, and uh, you'll get whatever little knowledge that I have, too. I can help you with it. But uh, anyway, give me a call. Ken Hines, 210-863-2180. All right, thanks.